Hello everybody, my name is Ted Lyon with BP3 and I wanted to show you a quick demo on how I use Automation Anywhere to help me file some taxes on TurboTax. So I had an issue uh, this year. Um, I was one of those many people who, you know, 2017 was a big year for cryptocurrencies and I thought I was one of these big shot investors making all these trades um, and I didn't really understand the tax implications of all this. Um, so as a result, I had hundreds of different cryptocurrency trades recorded in my taxes, and unfortunately, since it's sort of the wild west of cryptocurrency these days, um, an integration didn't exist for bulk uploads, um, so I needed to manually enter these trades. And that process takes a long time uh, when you need to do it manually, and I'll show you uh, the different steps that were involved. So this is one of the first three that you get to. Um, this is all fake data, so I don't actually have this, but just for demo purposes. The first thing I had to do is when I came to this screen is click this add button. So that's one click. Then I had to go click on this stocks. Um, they suggest that you log your cryptocurrency trades as stocks just because um, they have the same sort of fields to fill in, such as cost basis, such as buy date, sell date, gross profit, all that. Um, so then the second thing I had to do is click stocks, then hit this continue button. This is where it gets a little more resource intensive because you had to go from one screen, copy and paste the description, copy and paste share sold, date sold, net proceeds, and then click on this tax withholding uh, radio button. So when I, once I get to this continue button, I'm already at nine steps, 10, 11, 12, 13, fill in the date purchased, hit this radio button, fill in the number of shares, fill in the total purchase price, hit this button, hit here, so I've went through maybe eight screens or so, and I've been taken through 22 steps already. And so in order to manually do this, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of effort. I did it maybe five times and then I figured, oh geez, I still have hundreds to do. So maybe I should think of a different solution. And that's where RPA came into the picture. So let me go and navigate to Automation Anywhere and we'll show the task editor and we're going to see how the robot actually went through and performed all these tasks and then we'll show you the actual demo. So um, these first couple tasks is just to open up Chrome and navigate to TurboTax here. Enter my password, sign in, click a couple of buttons in order to get to the right screen. Um, and then it actually starts reading from a text file. Um, and this text file is what has all the different records for all the different cryptocurrency transactions that I had. For each line in that text file, it's going to go and create variables so here's a loop that starts. It starts with the first row, second, third, fourth, fifth, and every time it goes through a loop, first it finds the variables we need, then it goes and creates a uh, new string. So uh, it didn't actually name the currencies um, in the text file. So if I saw this symbol, it meant Ethereum. If I saw this symbol, it meant Bitcoin, and so on and so on. So as you go through the loop, it starts to do um, several mouse clicks. It starts to populate different fields. It starts to set text of different text boxes, pushes buttons, um, selects radio buttons. It does a lot of the commands that we need. And then finally, at the end, it ends down here. Now, this is an if condition uh, because sometimes when the gain was positive, or if it was a gain, um, you get a certain set of screens afterwards. But if you actually sold at a loss, you'd get through a different um, set of screens. And so I had to put in some conditions that said, all right, Go through these operations if you if we gained money, but go through the other operations if we lost money so that it could continue going through the loop correctly. Uh, let's just go through and show you how it works here. So I'm going to press run task and you can see automation anywhere is starting to go. Um, it logs into TurboTax, has my user ID in there, it inserts the password, signs in. This is all the computer doing this right now. It starts navigating so it hits the first button at that screen. We get this loading screen, we gotta wait a little bit. It'll hit this next button, we'll have that first screen. Now we're gonna start selecting the correct radio buttons and we're gonna start populating the correct variables uh, in this iteration of the loop. So you can see the robot's filling it in. It's going through the screens. Here's the date purchased. The buttons on the side here are a little blocked by the uh, automation window, but you can see what's happening. It's going through everything. It's almost completed this one, so it went through one iteration and now it's going down to the second one. So it goes through the same steps except these variables are different. So the number of share solds is different, date sold, net proceeds, all that. But it's going to follow the same screens through and through. Uh, so what we want is the robot to keep doing this process over and over and over 
for these hundreds of transactions so that I uh, can spend my time doing something else and writing the script of this video. So I'm going to end the demo there. Uh, you can see what was going on. It's just going to keep doing the same thing over and over. But um, in the end, I was really, really pleased with what it did. All of my records got entered in correctly. Um, it got it done in a matter of minutes as opposed to several hours, several button clicks, several copy and paste operations that I would have had to perform. Um, and I knew it was accurate because it was pulling the data from the exact data sheet that I was going to be reading off of. Um, so there were no clerical errors to have to deal with. And it was also kind of entertaining to watch, you know, have a robot do all my tedious work. And it's, it's nice to see things get done quickly and efficiently. Um, and of course, the most important part of it is it accomplished what I needed to do. Now I don't have the tax man coming after me. I've logged these records correctly. I was able to get a lot done in a short amount of time. Uh, and also, if someone else wanted this for their own purposes, I could help them do their taxes as well. So that was my demo. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, and I thought it was a very useful exercise uh, to go through. Thank you.